recently me and Jamie have gotten really into collecting different lounge fly backpacks and getting a bunch of new ones and then we're even in some groups on Facebook where you can trade with other people. It's kind of based on what people are looking for if there's some you really want to find. So we're starting to get into that and kind of building up our collection but we thought we'd make some fun videos starting from the beginning till kind of now and make some progress of where we're at doing some unboxings showing off the new ones that we've got and kind of show the collection growing over time thought we'd start by looking at some of the ones that jamie originally had previously these were all ones that she's used on disney trips that we've gone on and we've gotten them for different trips she's gotten them for birthdays christmas over the years we've always liked lounge fly backpacks but we've never been as into them as we have been recently so we figured it was time to get jamie's all organized and hung up they were just on some shelves before so we've been putting up these hooks and kind of also preparing more hooks over here to get ready for more backpacks to come and eventually who knows this whole wall could be filled with backpacks Almost. we'll see so just to show what jamie already had too here's a really cool ariel bag here's this rapunzel tangled bag i believe this one is a danielle nicole bag it's awesome as well it's got the flower zipper the ariel one has the really cute shell zipper and then this one was actually more recent. Jamie got this for her birthday this year, but it was new to her collection. Here's another Ariel one that Jamie has. That one's so cool. And this was the first one that Jamie ever got. I believe I bought this for her for Christmas in, I think it was 2018. Before we knew what lounge Yeah, before we really knew anything about lounge flies. And so this was a gift to her. I just saw it in the store and thought it was so cute and had to get it for her. And it's exclusive. Yeah, it was a box lunch exclusive from about three years ago. And that one is so cool. And then this one I think Jamie bought at the parks, right? No, I bought it before. Okay, yeah, she bought this to take to the parks. So this is the rose gold lounge fly. And then this one was also given to Jamie as a gift. It's a lounge fly as well. Yeah, I gave it to her. <laughs> and it is the Ariel Shell Purse Lounge Fly. It's more of like a purse type or a crossbody or something than a backpack. All these other ones are backpacks. Yeah, so these are Jamie's current bags that she has and kind of some of the hooks getting ready for, you know, more to arrive that we'll be able to unbox and take a look at. We're really excited to kind of see how it grows. Jamie got a new lounge fly. Another one to add to the collection. About a month old. Just recording the videos now because we really want to start doing these unboxings and kind of updating our collection. So this one was a birthday gift to her as well, kind of along with that light blue aerial one. But this one, it was sent in the mail. So it was here kind of like a little bit after we got back from Florida for her birthday. This is her new one. So three Capriros is the duck ride in Mexico. The three Caballeros. I've been saying it wrong. Three it's Caballeros. Yeah. Okay, this is what the inside of it looks like. Oh, the lining is, yeah, the it. lining is one of the coolest things, the three Caballeros. It looks like a little party. And it has actually, so this one has, has the three, three pockets. Yeah, so you've got the two front pockets. Do you know pockets. their names? Donald, Panchito, Jose Carioca. I think that's right. I, I confused those two. I hope I'm right. So yeah, the lining. So that one's like a bigger secondary pocket. And then you got the big pocket. Ooh, so yeah, look inside so there. The that's inside. awesome. It's so nice. It so looks this one, like a party and Tinkerbell wants to go in it. Yeah, and this backpack's actually pretty cool. Like it's got red and pink kind of faux leather on it and they kind of contrast each other well. It's Pomeranian approved. Tinkerbell approves. See. Maybe she can go for a ride in it. Tinkerbell likes the backpack. <laughs> oh, she says, I approve. Take me to Disney. Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. I got another new lounge fly. This one is my flower backpack from BMB. 
Jamie kept seeing this one online and thought it was really, really cute and considered buying it. And then at one point I saw that one of the websites or shops that is a official Loungefly seller put this one on sale and I sent Jamie the link and she decided to get it because she did really like this one and it was a really great deal. But this one is adorable. So it has a tail. <laughs> oh yes, it does have a tail. Let's not and forget that. And on the back it says he can call me a flower if he wants to. You can take off the tail if you want to as well. It's detachable. It's just like a little keychain. And it's like a leather kind of. Yeah, this one is actually a different kind of material than the other faux leathers. It feels almost more like spongy or foamy. So but I still have. It feels really well made still. Stuffing in it, but it's flower and gray the print is and so white. Cute. And it has blue flowers in there. And the eyes are blue, just like flowers' eyes. Yes, and it has a flower. Oh yeah, look at the zipper there. Zipper. The flower zipper is such a cute little touch. Here's yeah, the she, stuffing. It's still stuffed inside. This one is pretty new. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, there's the inside. You can see the flower's eyes, the blue flowers, the butterflies. It's really cute. Jamie ordered this one from LA Style Rush. I think this one's really cute how it kind of has the, this flower on the front is actually kind of embroidered on there. And it looks like flowers holding a flower and the face is so cute. And then you've got the little tuft of hair up there too. And I kind of like how the black and white contrast each other and then the lounge fly badge for this one is there on the side. Nice black and white there. Just a really well made, really nice bag overall. So I got another lounge fly backpack here, kind of for our collective collection. This one's gonna, we're gonna keep it at Jamie's, add it to her wall. We'll be doing that with several of the ones that I'm getting to. I do have some of my bags at home. My collection is building as well. We'll show that off at some point. We'll get around to it. I actually got this at Box Lunch a couple weeks ago. I was in there using some of my lunch money and actually got this one and was able to use some of the Box Lunch money for it to get it for a pretty good deal. This one is adorable. So we saw it sitting on the shelf and I really, really wanted it. So it's Bambi and Thumper and it's kind of like a floral all over print. I really like the blue color there. It's like a light turquoise green blue kind of. It's super cool. And then all the scenes of Bambi and Thumper all over are adorable. Like that one right there on the side there. And then you've got of course the a nice white lounge fly badge on the top kind of with this different colored faux leather to offset there. Let's see if we can take a look at the print on the inside. Uh, this one is still stuffed in new as well. Oh, so it's got a very similar print on the inside there of Bambi and Thumper together, kind of cuddling. That's really cute. I really wanted this bag. This one will go great with the collection of kind of the Bambi and other animals. Uh, this one was, I believe it's a box lunch exclusive. Let's see if we can kind of take a look at the full print there on the back. It's really, really cute. The bottom is brownish orange. It's just a really nice bag as well, so that'll look great with the collection. There's another new lounge fly. This one is from Box Lunch as well. Didn't use lunch money to get this one. This one was maybe about a week or so before the Bambi. This one is adorable. We kept seeing this one on Facebook and online too. It is Pooh with the flower crown. This one is a Box Lunch exclusive as well. Let's see if we can take a look at the print inside. I'll go for the big pocket. It might be easier to look at. We got Winnie the Pooh there with some balloons. That's a really cute print inside as well. I like that a lot, and it kind of matches the red and yellow theme of the Winnie the Pooh in the bag. And then you've got some super cute details here on the pocket, the lounge fly badge here too. But actually, one of the most interesting things about this bag is kind of the material that it's made of. This front pocket is almost like a polyester cotton type material, and this right here feels kind of like a felt or something. And then these actually kind of stick off too and have a little bit of fuzzy texture to them, and the flowers are made out of a different material as well. Yeah, this is one of the only bags that I've ever seen or had that's kind of this felty material. And then it has still leather straps on the back, which what is pretty cool. Say? It's really well made. And the back is adorable. So you've got Piglet. How do you spell love? Poo. You don't spell it. You feel it. It matches her stuffed animals perfectly, and she loves Winnie the Pooh and kind of the Winnie the Pooh character. We're gonna try to get some more Winnie the Pooh bags as well. I've actually got an Eeyore one coming and on the way that'll be really exciting to open. 
This is another one that's gonna be added to the collection and we'll have it displayed. Another new lounge fly for the collection. This one is also from Box Lunch. I'm not sure if this one's a Box Lunch exclusive or just for Disneyland 65th. It might be a Disneyland 65th Box Lunch exclusive. We thought this one was so cool. We've actually never been to Disneyland, but we're hoping to do that someday. And of course vlog it. So we thought this would be a really cool backpack to get. In the case that we ever go there, it would be a really cool one to wear. It kind of has some awesome details of the park on the backpack. In Box Lunch, they were super nice. They let us look through a couple different options and kind of pick out the placement in the bag that we wanted. There were a couple good ones. Um, there was another one that I really liked, but it had a bit of a weird denting on the pocket. So I went with this one that's brand new and I really like the placement here too, because you've got a nice central view of the Sleeping Beauty Castle and then you can kind of see the things surrounding it. The monorail, Main Street, you USA, the partner statue, the railroad, tiki room, and then of course still on the other parts of the bag you can see kind of some of the things that you would be able to see in full here like the Jungle Cruise Haunted Mansion. So it does have kind of a full view of everything and I really liked the kind of colors on this one. And this one's actually a bit interesting for one of these mini backpacks. It's bigger than several of the others. It's a bit taller and the if you look from the side the shaping is even a bit different because this one can actually be, if you look at the straps on the back, it's a bit different too. It's actually convertible between a mini backpack and a crossbody. So that's why it kind of has these zipper straps here too. And then you can unzip the straps and wear it as a backpack or you can keep it together and wear it as a crossbody. So you can see the Disneyland 65th anniversary there, which is really cool to kind of have that tag on it too. And then it, you can kind of see also a full image of what that looks like, um, kind of showing like different places in the park if you were at Disneyland where you'd be walking to. So kind of gives you a layout of Disneyland as well, which is really, really cool. And the colors of the bag are super nice too. It's kind of got this pinkish faux leather and what blue faux leather. Look like? Oh, and I didn't even see this, but looky there, we have Chippendale. Happiest place on earth. There we go. That one's pretty cool for the lining. I like that too. So it always reminds me Disneyland is the happiest place on earth. Disney World is the most magical place on earth. I think this one is really cool. So this will be a good one to kind of add into the collection and use if we ever get around to going to Disneyland. We definitely will. That'll be a really fun trip to do kind of once things are more back to normal and open to non California residents. We've got one more new lounge fly to show off here and then we'll kind of give a collection update too once we get them all hung up and organized and in their places. So this one was recently released on Shop Disney maybe about a month or so ago. We saw it get added, thought it was really cute, so we did place an order for one. It's kind of, for some of these, you're not sure if you order online what different placement you're going to get on the bag, so we did get pretty lucky here. We've got a good placement that kind of shows off Mickey and Minnie on the bag, and kind of the top has them as well. So we got pretty lucky there. So let's take it out and kind of take a look. We'll check out the inside of the bag. This one is also a bit of a different material too, so it'll be interesting to feel it and kind of see. So this one does have some really cool things to it. It almost looks like kind of a wider bag and shorter, but it is around the same size as most of the other mini backpacks, but you can see already one thing here. This handle is pretty unique. It's got almost like a little bamboo wow. tiki handle there. It's like a buckle. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Most other bags don't have that. You've got the Disney Parks Lounge Fly Badge here, and then Mickey and Minnie down here on the pocket with some of these other kind of tropical themed items. And then you can see it's got the gold detailing kind of over here. And this bag is different than the other ones. This is actually more of a canvas material. It's not a faux leather. So it's different in that way as well. It's got just some normal gold zippers here. All the gold detailing on the zippers, on the side pockets. So I do actually really like the placement of this bag that we got. You've got even Mickey and Minnie's around the top down there too. Really nice white straps on the back. The cool handle. And then let's take a look and see if we can kind of see the inside print. Oh. Yeah, that is really cool. So it's got it's kind of like a pink tropical, stripe like tropical vibe to it. This one came straight from Shop Disney and yeah, we really like this bag too. Another great one to kind of add to the collection. 
so we got through showing all those new ones that we kind of got to add to the collection so on this side over here we've got most of jamie's bags that she had before that little mermaid one was more recent that was just from her birthday too but we showed the hooks and all the space that we had to hang them on now we've kind of got a more full look now that we've actually gotten some of them hung up and they look amazing her mermaid aerial purse is hung down there as well. And then if we go back up, we got the rose gold. We kept the Bambi ones by each other. So now we've got flower, thumper, and Bambi right there. We have the sequins over there, and then a hook for if she gets any other sequins. And we'll kind of reorganize and move things. But all kind of the cosplayer character ones right up there in the middle. And then over here, her original bag. So we'll keep adding to the collection as they come. We'll kind of see it grow, but it's already looking great. And we just can't wait to keep getting some more lounge fly bags and checking them out and showing them off to you.